So before this video starts, I just want to say I have been sitting on this footage for a couple of weeks now, probably about two or three weeks. And uh, the reason that I've been sitting on it for so long is just in case something like this happened where there was going to be a couple of days where I wasn't able to film anything. And you're probably wondering why exactly I can't film anything. I'm home. I obviously have my equipment. And the reason for that is I have COVID. I haven't been officially diagnosed yet, but I was running one of my friends two or three days ago and he got diagnosed with it. And then about two two or three days later, I started showing pretty much all the symptoms. Good news is I'm going to be all right. It's not serious to the point where I have to get medical care, but I have been trying to just kind of rest and let my body, you know, heal. Um, I did see the big news on Golf Wang's story. I will be covering that um, as soon as I'm able. My mystery boxes are going to be here later this week. You know, if I feel better whenever those get here, you might see another video from me later this week. But if not, I'll definitely still film myself unboxing those items. It might might just be a little bit later but in the meantime i hope you guys uh, enjoy this video that i have filmed i hope it's very helpful to you all it's been a question a lot of people have been asking and um i hope you guys understand enjoy the video guys thanks so what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel where we discuss all things golf wing and streetwear and in today's video we are going to be doing a little bit of a comparison between my older g hat that i picked up in winter 2019 which is this navy g hat and comparing it to my newest g hat pickup which is this green g hat that i got in the autumn 2020 season the reason that I decided to compare these two hats today is that I've seen some people online talking about whether or not the G hats have dropped in quality or not. And I just wanted to quickly get on here and share my thoughts on that with you all. I know this video is kind of late in relation to when the drop actually happened, but I figured a lot of you may be picking some up for resale and it's very, very high. I would pretty much say it's guaranteed that we're going to see some more G hats at some point in the future. So I figured this was still some relevant information to share with you guys. Before getting into the quality differences, I will say I have noticed some slight fit changes with this newer G hat. The new G hat's seem to fit a lot bigger than the older G-hats from what I've noticed. So if you look here on the back of this G-hat, you can see that I don't have a lot of excess leather on this strap and this has been adjusted to fit me properly. So there's not a whole lot of additional room for me to really adjust this hat to get any bigger. Ever on this new G-hat, if you look at the leather strap back, this is also adjusted to fit me properly. You can see that we have a lot more excess leather on this strap back to adjust the size to go bigger. And the reason for this, I believe, is they are trying to make the G hats a little bit bigger in size to fit a wider array of heads. So I've seen a lot of people actually who may have like a big head of hair or just a bigger head size in general complaining a little bit about the golf G hats. And pretty much this only came with the leather strap back. I never really saw too many of my friends complain about the regular snapbacks. But with any of the golf hats in the past that had these leather strap backs, it was kind of harder for people, like I said, who had bigger hair or bigger head size to really get a G hat that fit them properly. So if you previously used to not be able to fit a G hat, then maybe this might be something you want to look into moving forward. Now moving forward to the quality differences or what I believe a lot of people have been talking about when addressing the quality differences. I have noticed two major ones and the first is actually the leather strap back. Now if you look at the strap back on my older G hat you can see that it is a lot darker in color and I don't know if the camera can pick this up but it actually has a bit of texture to it pretty reminiscent of authentic leather and as you can see on this newer G hat we have a lighter color strap. It is completely smooth. It has a bit more of a plasticky shine to it and it is a lot more stiff. Now I I may be wrong on this, but I do believe the reason we're seeing the difference in these leather strap backs is a transition from authentic leather to inauthentic leather. And a lot of people are probably going to view this differently. There are a lot of people who want genuine leather for quality or uh, a bunch of other differences. So those people might see this as a negative. However, a lot of people might see this as a plus because no cows or, you know, any animals have to be killed in order to make this hat, which makes it a lot better just, you know, for your conscience, but also for the environment and things like that. In my my opinion you probably won't notice the difference honestly between these leather strap backs while you're wearing the hat this isn't even something i would typically address but i did promise to tackle all the quality difference on these two hats to be completely honest with you if i weren't avidly looking at the hats or quality differences i probably wouldn't have noticed the difference in the leather strap backs but if my prediction is true then i personally see this as a plus because i'm completely for fashion companies pushing away from using animal products in their clothes and there's a number of reasons why i agree with that so like i said this is a plus to me, but you might see that differently. You might want authentic leather on your strap backs. And that brings me to the final quality difference that I've noticed between these two hats. And I feel like this is what a lot of people are addressing when they say the new G hats have dropped in quality. The biggest difference that I've noticed between these two G hats is the new one is a lot thinner than the G hats that I owned in winter 19. Now you obviously can't see this through the camera, but the material on this is pretty stiff. I mean, it's a pretty structured hat. You got a lot more build up here and just an overall thicker material. And as you can see on the new G hat, 
that it is actually quite significantly less structured. It's not quite as unstructured as a lot of hats I've had in the past, but it's definitely a lot more unstructured than this hat. So just holding these two hats up by the brim, you can see that this one is a lot more flimsy than this hat. It's got a lot more give to it just in the head. And the material is pretty significantly more thinner and it's actually a lot softer. So I feel like that's what a lot of people are talking about when they talk about these G hats dropping in quality. Now, in my opinion, I don't think this technically constitutes a drop in quality. I think it's more of a style choice to make an unstructured hat. A lot of people prefer a bit more of an unstructured hat and kind of historically, that's what golf hats have been a bit more unstructured than you're typically used to. And with the thinness of the hat, I think that's more just for, you know, hotter weather. I will say in my opinion of wearing these two hats, the new G hat is not nearly as hot to wear as my older one, which kind of makes sense because the Navy G hat that I bought was for winter season. And for the newer G hat I bought, it was dropped in an autumn season. And I know autumn is still technically considered a colder month. However, golf is based in LA and is a lot hotter there pretty much year round. So maybe they made the center material to make the hat a bit more breathable because it really is not as hot. However, I can 100% see why some people may look at that as a drop in quality between the hats. In my opinion, I guess technically the hats did drop in quality, but it's not very significant. And I do think it was for a reason. I guess center material is technically a drop in quality. However, I do think it's kind of a plus if you plan on wearing this hat in the warmer months or if you just live in a warmer climate. And the G hats still aren't super unstructured, but if you're a bit more going for the unstructured look, then this new G hat is going to fit a lot more into your style. I think the biggest quality difference that I've noticed on the G hats is the strap back. I don't know if it truly is a switch from authentic to inauthentic leather, but it definitely seems that way to me. And like I said, it is a lot better for the environment and I am actually for this push. However, unfortunately, it does constitute a bit of a drop in quality because it is kind of hard to replicate the quality of true leather materials. While I do understand that they're bad for the environment and I don't completely support them, I do recognize the quality that they bring to a lot of products. Comment below and let me know if you own one of the older G hats and you copped one of the new ones and you think it dropped in quality. I've just seen a couple of people talking about this on the internet, so I wanted to kind of address it. As always, if you like this kind of content and you would like to see more, definitely like this video and subscribe to the channel. I have a ton of golf and streetwear content coming moving forward. Without ado for this video, guys, thanks so much for checking this out. I'll see you in the next one.